Hi teens and welcome to the Last Summer Reading Club program for this year. Today we are going to be doing two different types of crafts that all relate to dragons. So let's go into the magical world of the Isle of the Dragons. First we're going to start with making our dragon eye pendants. The first thing you'll need to do is taking a black paint marker, draw the pupil of the dragon eye. Now this eye pupil can be similar to a cat where it's more sharp at the tips, or you can do it rounded, but it should be skinny and long. Once the pupil is completely dry, you're going to take a metallic paint pen and draw around the pupil along with some dots surrounding it. This will add some depth and a little bit of sparkle to your eye. Now, once all of that is dry, you're going to add your background color to your eye. I chose green, but you can use any color you'd like. So what you'll do is take some acrylic paint and slowly start painting over the back of the eye. Now, you'll probably need a couple coats. For me, I needed two coats in total for it to be completely opaque. Once your dragon eye is completely dry, you're gonna wanna pick whether you wanna make a necklace or a magnet. Both options are included in the kit that you should have picked up from the library. Once you decide, you're going to want to grab a hot glue gun and stick a little bit of hot glue on the back of either your magnet or your necklace pendant. Then, before it dries, you're going to want to firmly place it on the flat side of your eye and hold it there for 5 seconds. Be careful not to burn yourself because that is possible. But, once you let it completely dry, you're all done. So, let's move on to learn how to make your own dragon egg. To start making your dragon egg, you're gonna take the silver push pins and you're going to paint them with nail polish. Now you can use any color you want. I chose just three colors that I could alternate as I did the egg, but the choice is up to you. Once your push pins are completely dry, you're gonna to wanna to start sticking them into the foam egg. Now, you need to start at the bottom and work your way up to create a layering effect. Also, when you're sticking the push pins into the egg, you wanna make sure they're overlapping not only top to bottom, but also side to side. This process will take you a little bit of time because there's a large amount of push pins, but once you're done, you'll create a magnificent looking egg. And there you go. Now you have your very own dragon egg, little decoration, and your dragon eye. So whether you made it as a necklace pendant or a magnet, share your creations on our Facebook or on our Instagram at RNU Public Library. We'll see you all next time. Bye.